Is that when the women of colour have produced yeah. the tangible that, evidence? They don't. Hang on, you dismiss it because it's so not racism. Not, no, but you're not accepting the experience and the interpretation of the. No, women I'm of not accepting it. Why? Yes, she's a black woman. She's probably been exposed to more racism than I have. Yeah. He did make a very racist comment. Uh, uh, uh yes, you did. Maybe most Muslims are peaceful, but until they recognise and destroy their growing jihadist cancer, they must be held responsible. You've, in columns before that you've written, you've referred to black people with watermelon smiles. Boris Johnson's burqa comments led to surge in anti-Muslim attacks. Monitoring group says abuse incidents jumped by 375% in the week following PM's article. Tell my man, shut up. Shut, shut up. up. Shut up. Well, I mean, the song was written in, um, you know, the middle of the 1700s. And that was when Britain was fully partaking in the slave trade. In 2019, I find that completely out of date. Does it One of the remember? greatest patriotic anthems this nation Why has ever had. Why is it patriotic, though? Lily Allen's song, F.U. stands against racism. But one of the things that Britain, that has made race a more difficult subject to tackle head on in the UK is because the slavery happened over there, because the empire happened over there, we can pretend none of it happened here and that somehow all these buildings in Liverpool and Bristol and London have nothing to do with kind of Britain's history and participation in kind of race-based genocidal slavery. The desperate need to reform our education system in the UK and mm. the way that we tell the story of how yeah. we have been involved in foreign affairs, in our relationship to slavery. Mm. Um, yeah, which we, we never talk about. Which usually. we never yeah. talk about. And the wealth of this country we, was built on that. We yeah. never talk about it and it's not okay. Mm. It's just like deeply, deeply, deeply not okay.